What's good my fellow Natiba Slayers? Today we have a brand new mode in the game released by Shift Up. Shout out to them for giving us some free content and it's looking hella good. The music, the OST in the background slaps like usual. This is the boss challenge. Now, if you haven't already beaten the game, I would prefer that you sit this one out for now, save this into your watch later section and come back and watch it as soon as you smack this game up. And we'll be waiting right here for you. The video's not going nowhere. The reason is, is because there's a lot of bosses that are going to be shown in this challenge mode that you probably have not yet seen or you don't want to be spoiled by. So I don't want to spoil your fun for you. There's a lot of these challenges and things that you might want to just go ahead and experience for yourself first and then come back to this video. But if you just want to go along with me and learn these fights, watch me get beat the hell down, folded by all of these amazing bosses and then go and try it yourself, that's also okay too. And I also want to talk about how you unlock the boss challenge mode. So a lot of you guys have come through on my latest videos in the comment section and this is the information that I have gathered so far. Because I have already had everything locked out from the jump, I'm not able to confirm this personally. So please correct me down in the comment section below if you feel that my information is a little bit off or you've seen something different. So far, as soon as I opened up this boss mode, on screen was two notifications for me. One was telling me, congratulations, you have unlocked hard mode. Now. For me, I know that I've beaten this game four times. I have knocked out every single ending that there is in this game and I've speed run or sped run the game twice already. So as far as I'm concerned, I know that I've done the refuse Adam's hand ending, accept Adam's hand ending, and I've done the accept Adam's hand ending and gone to 809 twice. So that's where I stand. What I'm seeing in my comment section is some people who have accepted Adam's hand but have not yet refused Adam's hand, they haven't yet seen those bosses. And since they haven't seen those bosses, they're not unlocked in the actual boss challenge mode for them. They're not able to do that just yet. Which means in order for you to take on the boss challenge mode in its full effect, you're going to need to A, knock out both endings of the game, the good and the bad ending, refusing and accepting Adam's hand in order to see every single boss and you're going to have to also challenge the second variants that are out in the world. Now I'm going to go over this list real quick and let you know the locations of all the different bosses. It also tells me where these bosses are right here on screen so it's easy for you to follow. First off you have Abaddon in 807 at the parking garage. Then you have the Corruptor boss. The first Corruptor boss is found when you're going towards the construction site. Then you have Gigas of course. He is the main Alpha Natiba that is in the 807 zone. Next, we have the Brute. The Brute is going to be in the Wasteland. The only way that you're able to get the Brute boss fight is if you go to, I think his name is Lyle. No, it's not Lyle. I forgot the dude's name, but he's in the last gulp. If you go to the last gulp and you talk to him, he's going to tell you about his friend named Timothy. I'm mad that I remember his boy's name, but I don't remember his name. My bad. Anyways, he's going to talk to you about his friend Timothy that he abandoned inside of the bottomless pit in the Wasteland. Once you talk to him, go over there, beat up Brute, and you'll unlock this one. Gigas in the Wasteland is unlocked by talking to one of the Sentinels inside of Zion. He's going to tell you that some of the Zion Sentinels have not returned. And can you go, you know, check on them and see if they're okay? That is going to lead you into this boss fight. And just for a little lore for you guys, if you've already fought the first Gigas, right? You know, we tore this man's head clean in half. This is the torn in half version. How did our mans come back to life? Like, this has always confused me, but it is what it is. Let me know what the lore is behind how this thing survived and or has rejuvenated. <laughs> I don't even know. Anyways, the stalker. The first stalker that you're able to fight is going to be in the Matrix 11 area. Right behind that, you're going to have the goat, the juggernaut. This is one of my favorite fights. I can't wait to beat this man down. Then, of course, we have Taki, looking clean as ever. Hot damn. Moving right along, you're going to have Stalker 2. This is in the Great Desert. This is going to be the boss that you have to fight in order to turn on the power for the Great Desert area. Then you have Abaddon. Abaddon is actually going to be on the rooftop. There's like this whole like climbing to the top jump puzzle that you have to do in like the downtown area. Where there's that quicksand. You're going to have to navigate that place pretty well. And then once you get to the correct rooftop, 
he is going to be sitting up there waiting for you. There's also the behemoth. The behemoth is easily... Oh, as a matter of fact, Abaddon is actually... He needs to be unlocked after you talk to a specific NPC. There's going to be an NPC that's going to tell you that... He left his fellow Sentinels behind. And he feels bad about it. So, yeah, that's going to... Okay. Let me point you guys in the right direction. So, fall back for a second. The Gigas Wasteland... The Sentinels in the front of Zion are going to talk to you about this one. And the Sentinel that's near the Great Desert Gate is going to talk to you about this one. So that's how you get those two unlocked. The Behemoth fight is given to you by Kaya. I can't say no more. That's kind of the, you know, it is what it is. The Corruptor. This boss fight can only be done if you go to 809. So you have to get up Lily's Affinity to max in order to fight this one. Um, Bella... Bell, I don't even know how to say this man's name. Belia? Belia. I'm going to call him Belia. So, Belia, this is found in Spire 4. Katakuri is found in Spire 4, one of my favorite bosses. But she's, yeah, she's a, she's, yeah. The Demon Crawler, yo, the, I hope, I hope, I hope the OST is still intact the way that it's supposed to be. Because when I pull up on this boss, I want to hear that OST in full effect. It's one of my favorites of all time. You have the unidentified Atiba that is, of course, in Zion. You got Raven in the wasteland waiting for you when you go towards the nest. And then you have Providence. The only way that you're going to be able to fight Providence is if you accept Adam's hand. Once you accept his hand, whether you've gone to Eidos 9 or not, you're going to be fighting Providence. And then, last but not least, you have the Elder Natiba. If you refuse Adam's hand, then you're going to see this man waiting for you, ready to go. And I've done all of these fights in both normal mode as well as hard mode. So every single last one of these challenges is unlocked for me. That is exactly how you unlock all of these bosses for your boss challenge mode. I can't wait to see how fast some of you guys can beat some of these bosses down. Let me know down below some of your best times for some of these bosses. I'm going to be posting a whole lot of boss challenges right here on the channel. I'm taking out every single boss for normal mode as well as hard mode right here for you guys. I'm going to lock them into series so that you can watch them at your leisure. Hopefully you get entertained by it because, hey, normal mode might be a cakewalk for me, but hard mode, I'm going to put myself under hell's gate. Like, I'm going in there with the least amount of skills and abilities possible to see just how badly I could challenge myself for you guys' entertainment. But anyways, besides the fact that I've gotten to get packed up and folded by every single Atiba in this game, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. This is your boy, Emma MMSSHD. If you like what we do in the channel, you already know what to do. Smash that like button and sub, but I'll see you in the next one. For now, have a great day, and I'm out of here.